What's going on guys, Jblader here, back again doing another video of the Pokemon Platinum Wedlock, episode 12, and I am excited to be here. Let me heal up my Pokemon real quick, you can see there on the screen that we've got uh, Shell Loss there, Pink is, or, or was leveled up, and I also leveled up all my other Pokemon, so now I think we have some good options to go into the battle, and we're going to continue on our way over to Heart Dome City in today's episode. So let's hop on our bike and head over up here to the north and then to the east. Ooh, did it first try. So there's a double battle here. I don't like double battles, so we're just simply not going to do it. And we're going to use Lemonade and Boba, uh, both of which, to be frank with you, this is kind of a weak pair, and I don't love using this pair. I think this is my weakest pair, to be honest. Uh, but we're going to try to we're going to try to go for it and try to beat the, the uh, a few of these trainers in this area. So Anthony has a Chimchar. Luckily, uh, Boba here is going to take care of that. I do not look up these trainers ahead of time, so it's very, it's very random. I'm, I'm not really always sure what I'm going to get. Okay, we're just going to use Rock Throw, and I didn't turn them back on again. I got to turn the battle scenes back on, and we're able to one shot the Chimchar there. Oh, we lost. Yep. Yep, 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 and we won, which is awesome. So let me turn these battle scenes back on real quick. All right, and we'll go battle this picnicker right here. Let's see what she has. Go do it, my Pokemon. I'll work hard too. Lauren has one Pokemon. It is a Pachirisu, so another good chance for Boba here to shine, being a ground type. Let's just use Magnitude. Can't wait till I get something like Earthquake or a more consistent ground type move. So we... Oh, it's only Magnitude 5 and we just had an attack drop. So that's probably not going to do that much. Ooh, it was a crit. Two crits in a row. How lucky. Quick attack is not going to do very much. One damage. And a Magnitude 7 is going to take out this Pachirisu for sure. Three crits in a row. What is this? That is crazy. Oh, we lost. Okay. We got a Super Potion here, and then next up we have a Hiker. Probably gonna have a Rock type or something along those lines. Let's swap over to Lemonade. So I've been thinking a lot about the next gym, and I have some strategies coming to mind. But we really gotta think about it, and I think I'm gonna use Substitute. Uh, the TM for Substitute in a normal type, like Staravia, I think is going to be... I think it's going to work. Reason why is they're not going to be able to hit Staravia very hard since their Ghost type moves aren't going to work. Which is going to allow me to set up a Substitute right off the bat. They're going to struggle breaking the Substitute. And then I'll be able to basically sweep them with Staravia if all goes to plan. We got a Nose Pass here. That's a little different. Let's just use Water Pulse again. Thankfully, we did get Water Pulse on Lemonade. This hits a little bit harder than Water Gun. And also can Confuse, which is great. So we got Block. And uh, we can no longer escape, which is fine. We were already in a Trainer Battle, so it's not like we were escaping anyway. And uh, we didn't want to switch out to Boba in this matchup, I don't think. Lemonade's probably a better matchup for the Rock type. And Lemonade grew there. Pink got a level with the Experience Share. Whoops, taken down easily. Okay, and then next up... Oh! Who is this? It's no one else but Don. Hi, J Blader. How's your Pokedex coming along? Me? I'm somewhere between fantastic and uh, hopeless, but this isn't about me. I've got something nice for you. J Blader, choose which hand. I don't think it matters which hand you choose. I'm just going to choose right. I see. You want the Versus Seeker. I'm impressed, J Blader. You know that's important. 
Using the Versus Seeker, you can find trainers who want to rematch with you. Oh, Jayblader, do you also have a Poke Edge? Yep, you do. You can have this too then. You deserve it for all your hard work. So the Dowsing Machine. The Dowsing Machine app locates unseeable items. The Dowsing Machine is something you should touch often. It will tell you if there's an item on the ground that you can't see. I think there's something here, even. You should try it out. Okay, let's keep working on the Pokedexes. Professor Rowan is counting on us. So I think there actually like is an item here-ish? I remember it being here, but I can't remember exactly where it was. I think it's a Great Ball. Keep in mind I haven't played this game in eight years, but... Huh. Don't know where it went. Anyway, let's try out that Dowsing Machine. We just gotta cycle through the apps here. And there it is. Let's click on it. You'll see it'll say that there's an item right there. To our right, it just works like a grid based on where you're standing, and it was right. It was a it was a great ball. Had some good memory there. Is there any way for us to get to these other trainers? There is. Okay, let's go ahead and battle these guys and gals down here. I think Lemonade is still going to be the move. He does have confusion, so the fighting uh, girls that have like fighting type Pokemon, I think he'd do well against. And his defense stat isn't bad either, so he'll be fine. Okay, we got a Buizel here. This is not a great matchup, considering that Boba cannot do anything. So it's all up to Lemonade here. Confusion's not a super strong move. Oh, we did get the Confusion, though. That's awesome. Oh, it's going to use Water Gun. We're going to resist that, so that's fine. <laughs> it was a crit, but that's okay. And then this Confusion should take out the Buizel. Oh, we got a low roll on the damage. Let's see, will it knock itself out in confusion? Yes, it does. Okay, got it kind of lucky there. We'll take that. Next up is a Luxio, and this spells trouble because it is an electric type. Let's switch out to Boba. Uh, interesting enough, these two cover their weaknesses and their strengths very well. So it's going to use Bite, which isn't going to do too much. We do uh, not resist it. But we just need to hope we don't flinch. Okay, Magnitude 9 should take this out. Awesome. Luxio is down. And then the last Pokemon is a Gligar. I think I'm just going to stay out and use Rock Throw. Let's see how much this does. I don't think Gligar has any ground-type attacks that can really hurt me at this point. Oh, that did not do very much. Okay, we are going to go ahead and swap to Lemonade. It goes for Fury Cutter. That's not going to be very effective, but it does stack, so we do need to be aware of that. And then this, I would think the Water Pulse would take it out or get it very low. And it does take it out. Sweet. This pair is doing better and better every episode, which is exciting, because for the longest of times they were just kind of kind of sitting in the party and not really doing much, but now they are full-fledged members of the team and doing a great job. Let's use another potion here. We gotta pick some up in our next shop next time we're in town. Okay, there's a hiker up here. Let's see what he's got. Wah! Laughter brings good fortune! Okay, Kevin's got a Geodude and probably just a lot of rock and ground type Pokemon if I had to take a guess. Let's go ahead and use Water Pulse. We should be able to one shot all of these. Geodudes and Onyxes and stuff with the water type moves, which is great. This makes for some easy experience, and since I'm taking out, I did a lot of training with Lemonade against Pokemon like Geodude. It makes his defense stat higher because of the effort values that we gain from defeating Geodudes. So Lemonade's actually kind of tanky, can take some physical hits. I would have rather had those, I think. It, I, you know, I think I would have rather had those points in a special attack tree, but there is no real consistent way to get that. So, you know, training against the Geodudes and Rock types was definitely the easiest way to level it up. 
So you're just gonna, uh, with challenges like this, you kind of just have to take the, uh, the EV spread that you get. Last up, we got a level 19 Onyx. Big damage there from Lemonade shooting the water. And we defeated Hiker Kevin. There's nothing I can do but laugh. You know, that's a good mindset. That is a good mindset. So we found a revive here. That's totally worthless. We cannot use revives. So it doesn't do us any good. I don't know if I want to battle you. Yeah, let's why not. I think you have a Meditite or a Machop. So let's go for it. Okay, okay. Let's be quick about it. Okay, Battle Girl Helen. She does have a Machop. And she might be funny if she had a, uh, a Meditite too. Uh, my memory of these games... I'm going to be honest. I'm very impressed about how much I remember. Considering that I played these when I was in like... Um, you know, 5th and 6th grade, 7th grade... And um, I played these games a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, so I'm not that surprised that I remember it, but in a way I'm surprised that since it's just been so long since I've played them, you know, it was 15, 14 years ago, uh, they were released 14 years ago. I'm surprised how much I remember, I do remember quite a bit. All right, let's go, oh, it's gonna use detect. This is gonna block my move. That's okay, we're just going to do the same thing. We're just going to go with the Water Pulse and hopefully get a, uh, hopefully get a, conf uh, a Confusion. Okay, no Confusion, but that's okay. Mind Reader is just a status move, so we're not going to take any damage this turn. And, oh, it's going to use Detect. Wow, this is so obnoxious. It is just denying the inevitable. Okay, finally, the Detect failed there. Yeah, Detect and Protect, you can't use that many times in a row or it will fail. To be able to use it three out of four turns is already kind of uh, a lot. And we defeated Helen. Oh yeah, let's do that again. Oops, I'm out of Pokemon. And we need Rock Climb to be able to go any further there, which is an HM that we're going to get later in the game. And we are in Mount Cornet. Now, we've already gotten an encounter in Mount Cornet, if you remember earlier. So, not going to be able to get an encounter in this layer of Mount Cornet. But that's okay. We got a strong Geodude here. These are actually going to give a ton of experience. Uh, the Wild Pokemon here are so strong compared to the Gym Leader. Like I said, the Gym Leader is only level 26, and the Wild Pokemon are level 19 and 20. So... The level limit, see, the level curving here is very interesting. Very different from the earlier level curving. Okay, let's make our way through this cave. I'm going to skip some encounters here because I don't think there's going to be anything too interesting happening in these encounters. I'll probably take them out for the experience. I uh, want to get everyone around level 26, if not up to level 26, before we take on the next gym. So, not going to skip too many of these encounters. Or, or I'm not going to, you know, run away from too many of them. But for the sake of time, let's go ahead and skip a few of these. All right, let's see here. Oh, look who it is. According to one theory, Mount Cornet is where the Sinnoh region began. In a newly created world, a world where only time flowed and space expanded, there should have been no strife. But what became of that world? Because the human spirit is weak and incomplete, strife has spread. The world is being ruined by it. I find this state of affairs to be deplorable. Well, that's just depressing. Looks like there should be an item there. We're just going to walk around here. There are actually some really cool Pokemon that you can get in Mount Coronet. Um, like Chingling that evolves into Chimeco. Not very strong. Uh, I think even Clefairy you can get there. Anyway, we made it to Route 208, which means we get another encounter in this route. And let's try to get through Route 208 today. If I beat you, will you share some food with me? He must be hungry. He wants to battle for food. Hiker Jonathan just has a very strong Onyx. Look at that, level 22. The level the level curving here is so crazy. Let's just go ahead and use Water Pulse. And being double super effective on a non-special defense Pokemon like Onyx, we can take it out. 
Let's see what he says here. We were starving for food, and now we're starving for a win! Well, your mental health is very important, but the food is equally as important, if not more important. You're just a little kid. How are you supposed to be a big man like me? Size is not everything, my man. It's how much you love your Pokemon. You should know that. Big man has a... He's, com he's like talking about how big of a man he is, and then he has a nose pass, which is like not a large Pokemon compared to the guy that had the Onix, which is like one of the strong, like one of the largest non-evolved Pokemon, non-legendary Pokemon. Okay, we use, he's going to use block, which means we just can't swap. It's all good, because we're just going to use water gun here. And nose pass is out. Got beaten by a kid. And another level there on pink, that's awesome. Oh my, a big man like me got schooled by a little kid like you. And it looks like there's an item here. Okay, I don't know why they do that. They just leave some of these cliffs, like, really randomly. Definitely makes it look like there's an item in some of these areas. We got an either there. That's gonna allow us to restore PP of a move if we need it. And let me see if I'm missing anything over here. I believe there's another battle. Yeah, let's see. I think we'll just go ahead and take on this guy. Um, uh, he's a karate master, so we're going to be using probably psychic type moves on a fighting type like a Machop, and it is a Machop. Maybe it's easy to remember what Pokemon these people have just because there's almost no variety in the Pokemon these people have. Like I said in the few episodes, the, the variety of Pokemon that they've given the trainers in these routes is really bad. Compared to, like, the newer games, where I feel like every trainer kind of has its own twist of uh, uniqueness. Maybe it's the combination of what they have, or maybe there's just so many Pokemon in a route, or in the Pokedex, that they are able to have some different stuff. So, makes it a little bit more unique. In these types of games, I definitely feel like these trainers are just little obstacles that you kind of just have to face in order to reach items. In order to continue up this way, we're going to need Rock Climb, Waterfall, or Surf. All of which are HMs we don't have yet. So we're going to have to come back here at some point and do that. And let's try to get to Hearthome City today. Over here we have what looks like an Aroma Lady. And I do not want to face an Aroma Lady with that combo. So let's swap out. She probably is going to have something like a Roselia. If I had to take a guess. Just based on the, the uh, her sprite. Oh, you want to have a battle? I was meeting Tinder Contest, but beating you won't take long. Aroma Lady Hannah. Yes, a Roselia. Whoa, cool. She had the animations there, the ball capsules. I forgot about those. Okay. Well, this should not be a bad fight at all. We do have some type advantage here. And we got a quick claw there. Wing attack from Latte is going to do big damage. Oh, man. That was no problem at all. Let's see. What's the next Pokemon? Is a Combi. Combi is a very cute Pokemon. But it is a very weak bug flying type. And Wing Attack is going to uh, do big damage to it as well. Only the female Combis evolve. Male Combis do not evolve. Really cute, though. Oh, you have us beaten. Yeah, maybe you should, um, you know, practice your... Uh, contests. So, I don't think any of these berries here I'm, are really worth replanting. This is an area I'll be running around every once in a while, but I'm not really concerned about it. Once I get citrus berries, I'm really going to want to replant the citrus berries. Uh, they're going to be like the go-to held item for a lot of my Pokemon, so that's something that we got to really keep an eye out for. And this is the Berry Master's house. Let's see what he says. Everyone seems to call me the Berry Master. I hand out berries daily because I want people to learn how wonderful they are. You're deserving of one. There's a Qualot Berry. And let's see what she has to say. Are you forgetting the forgetful type who forgets where their berries are planted? Yes, yes, I thought so. I'm the same way. I feel sort of kinship with you. You can have this Poke app. So this Berry Searcher, it'll show us where on the map our berries are and what, uh, if they are ripe or not. So this is mulch. I'm not going to use mulch uh, right now. It's just not really worth it to me. And we have a painter here. Let's see what he has. A smeargle, maybe? You and I. Let us create a scene. 
a fantastic tableau of battle. I just think he would have a Smeargle because, you know, Painters, you know, it's kind of the default Pokemon is the Smeargle. Oh, he has a Mime Jr. Okay. Well, Mime Jr. is a baby Pokemon, is the baby Pokemon of Mr. Mime. That means that its stats aren't that great. It doesn't have many defense stats. So Latte is going to one-shot it with Wing Attack. Next up, we have a Bonsly, another baby Pokemon. This one, though, is a rock type, which means it's going to be a little bit more difficult for us to take out. Let's see how much wing attack does. I'm expecting it to do about a quarter. Okay, yeah, a little less than a quarter. Low kick is not going to do very much. Did a little more than I thought, to be honest. Let's go ahead and swap out into Caffeine, who should be able to take this thing out with a mock punch. Fighting type move is going to be super effective. Flail. The weaker the Pokemon, the more damage it does, but you can see he still has a good amount of health, so it's not going to be bad at all. Let's use Mach Punch. Oh no. If it uses Flail now, it's going to do a lot of damage. Okay. Good, good, good. Just he's going to use Low Kick, and the priority Mach Punch is going to take it out. Awesome. No problem with that battle. This is our strongest pair, so I don't really worry about sending out this pair. And we defeated Artist William. Magnificent. I'm a glow with inspiration. Awesome. There's a guy here. Let's see. Don't say a word. Just take it. We received an odd keystone. This is how you can get Spirit Tomb. And there's no take backsies, I guess. Okay, so we do get an encounter in this area. We got a tiny mushroom. Let's see what our encounter for 208 is going to be. Nope, we already have a Bud Dew, so this one doesn't count. Let's go ahead and skip ahead. All right, wait, B Barrel. We have a B Doof, so it cannot be B Barrel because it technically it would be the duplicate claws. Even though I wouldn't mind a B Barrel, uh, can't be B Barrel. I think there has to be at least one Pokemon on this route that we don't have yet. And if I, you know, I've been running around, I've cut out quite a few encounters. If I don't find one here in a moment, we might just slather some honey on this tree and see what happens. Okay, there's a Zubat. We finally got our <laughs> Revenge of the Zubat encounter. Let's not knock it out this time. In fact, I'm pretty sure Quick Attack's not going to knock it out, but we're just going to go ahead and throw a Great Ball, just in case. Uh, I just need Pokemon at this point. I, I don't really care what they are. I just need options. And we can get a Crobat, and Crobat is fine. Crobat is not a weak Pokemon. There we go, we got Zubat. Got to think of a name for this thing. A dark, what's like a dark? type of uh maybe a dark type of uh drink you know i'm thinking of something um you know what let's name this thing uh vodka <laughs> vodka is a type of alcohol it's a very strong alcohol but i think it's kind of appropriate for a dark pokemon like that and with that we're going to end up the episode here in 208 and head into hearthome city in the next one thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next episode.